operation was a success. We were able to repair the left ventricle. But does that mean I can talk to him? No, he's still out, Tanya. Where is he, Rick? I see you. But he came out of it all right. He came through the operation fine, but he is still extremely critical. There's a bullet in his brain, and until we get that out, he's not going to get any better. So he still has to have the operation? As soon as he has recovered sufficiently from the surgery, yes. How long will that be? I don't know. I'll be monitoring all through the night. Now, if he looks better, then I will notify Dr. Palmer. That's the neurosurgeon, right? Frisco, he is one of the best in the country. Now, if he's stable throughout the night, there is a chance that Dr. Palmer could perform the surgery in the morning. Okay. Now, what exactly is he going to do? It's better if I let him explain that to you. He's looking at Tony's x-rays now. As soon as he comes down, I'll have him tell you. Isn't, um, isn't it a little dangerous to have two major operations like this back to back? First of all, it's not the ideal situation, but we don't have any choice. Rick, is he strong enough? Is he going to make it? Tanya, there is a lot of pluses going for him. He's young. He's, he's very... Athletic, he's in good physical condition. And he has a lot to live for. Our baby, huh? It's a lot more important than you think. He's unconscious, but inside he knows. He knows he's got a, a beautiful, caring wife, a baby on the way. He knows that. I told you. I hope he realizes it. He just can't die. Tanya, I'll do everything I can. I know. And I thank you for everything you've done so far. We're all rooting for you, believe me. I'll tell Dr. Palmer as soon as he's free and come down. Thank you. Right. Thank you. We've managed to repair the damage to the left ventricle. Then he'll be all right? He still has brain surgery. Has complications? I hope not. How can you stand having two operations so close together? Well, it's going to be rough. I'll be monitoring through the night. If he is not stable enough, if he's not in good enough condition, no way will they operate. But does he have to have it? If he doesn't, he's not going to improve at all. The bullet is locked. It's Tanya now. She must be going to see him. Hope to God she can take it for her sake and the baby's. Pressure stabilized? Yes, and all his other vital signs are better than good at this stage of the game. How do you think he'll do tomorrow? Well, he survives this part of it. All we can do now, I guess, is break. It would be best if you all went in one at a time. I just... Mr. Jones? I'm gonna... Oh, Frisco, what can I do to help? You know what you can do? Stay the hell out of my life. Today. That's why I couldn't meet you for lunch. A baby, though? Yes. I mean, I'm like a baby. Yes, a baby. <laughs> oh, I, I am uh, stunned. I'm thrilled. I am speechless. I would settle for yes or no. Happy? Yes, yes, I am happy. <laughs> I, am, I am weak in my knees. Tony, can you hear me? Tony.
And uh, he's still in a coma. Yeah, I understand. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll keep calling for reports. Thank you. I was told to come back in. Yes, love. Uh, please, have a seat. Right here. Why did you send for me? I, I told you what happened. Yeah, but you see, uh, that was in the heat of the excitement, so to speak. Now that things have calmed down, maybe you can see them a little clearer. I was trying to be clear. What makes you think I know any more now than what I did before? Well, that's what we're uh, going to find out today. For Tony's sake. Ask all the questions again, and maybe you can come up with something which will be of help. How long have we been here? Feels like a couple of hours. More, maybe. I don't know. Kind of lost track of time. How much longer can they hold off? Tanya, Rick explained that already. He's already had his heart surgery now. In order to do the second operation, they have to wait until Tony's strong enough. So where's Rick? How come he can't tell us something, anything? He's where he should be. He's at Tony's bedside, checking his vital signs to see if they improve like a lot of other doctors and nurses are. But they can't hold off any longer. Well, they have to. They can't. He has a bullet in his head. Oh, no. 